So if you've been following this channel for a while, you know I lost my mother to pancreatic cancer during the time when this whole world was shut down. And if you've lost somebody or know somebody who suffered a loss, it's just something that you cannot get ready for. There's no real blueprint for it. And it completely changes you. You know, people who are close to you don't know how to talk to you or, you know, people start dropping out of your life. There's just a list of things that start to happen. And I experienced all of them and still experience experiencing it. But something that redefined, I redefined was, was time and how I approach time, how do I look at the, how I look at time, how I appreciate it, realizing how finite it is, how fragile it is, how fast it goes. It's unforgiving. It doesn't care about you. It will keep on going. And exploring the grieving and the healing and going back and forth with those two things. And I was putting all of that on this channel because in a lot of ways it was my therapy because I had, I didn't know what to do at the time. And I realized I put out, you know, one video and I was like, you know what? I feel I just need to just talk and express and just let it out. And, you know, some people reached out and they were going to similar things, but I bring that part up because it shaped and changed the way I run my business, how I run during collective as a production side, a production company. When I shoot with clients, when I shoot with brands, it completely changed my style and even who I choose to work with. It changed my filmmaking style because I started to approach it not from very corporate and, hey, let's just get the shot and you know see you later. But no, I wanted to bring out the same thing that I was bringing out of myself was emotion, bringing out realness, bringing out honesty, bringing out, hey, how do you feel about your business? Why do you have this business? I'm not so much interested in just the product, but what's your driving force? Are you trying to prove somebody wrong? Or are you trying to prove something to yourself? Because these are the things that I was bringing out of myself with the videos was I was bringing out, how do I feel? What am I going through? Who who am I? You know, and it resonated with, you know, some people out there and I'm glad that it did, but that wasn't even the goal to say, look, I want people to, to reach back and hit me up. It wasn't about that. I just wanted to put it out because I felt like I needed to, and I continued to do it. And I'm grateful that I was able to do it because not only did it help other people out there and hopefully it, it will continue to help people, but it, it definitely helped me. It helped the ring collective hit the power button, you know, Again, we hit the reset button, came back even better. So the importance of that authenticity was like a driving force on how I approach anything when it comes to when I'm doing a video like this, you know, talking to you guys, or if I'm, you know, working with a company, working with the brand, getting booked on something, I want to bring out that emotional driven content. You know, it's not just, hey, shallow superficial cookie cutter no because that was never me from the start i've never been that person but once you know she passed away and all that craziness was going on it really made me say okay i'm gonna give you really gonna give you me really gonna show you what it is because just through life and if you're building a business whatever you you know things of that nature if you're not careful, you start getting conditioned and start thinking, hey, I got to be this way. If you're not careful, you start fall, falling into certain molds because you think this is the ticket. This is the way it should be, as opposed to just being raw and authentic and your community, your tribe will come. And that was an immediate wake up call for me. It's like, no, I want my authenticity to be 100 percent, not only in myself, but whoever I work with. You know, I call it emotionally driven content. And it made such a huge difference in just breakthroughs of going from, okay, I don't know if I can ever do this again. I don't know if I can ever bounce back, period, to being able to we're, look where we're at right now. Like from, from the time that it happened to where we are right now, so many amazing things has happened and I'm so grateful for it. And that just added fuel and just added more, more reason to keep going and to keep building and to keep growing this thing. So, and this is going to be a short video. I won't keep you guys long on this one, but I wanted to just 
you know, bring it on home with, if any of you, whether it's you're just you're going through something, you lost somebody, you might know someone who lost somebody, who suffered a loss, I would say find a medium that resonates with you, express yourself, allow that expression to heal, and then along the way you'll be surprised you might start connecting with people who understand. And that's what has happened with Doreen Collective, and that's what's continuing to happen. It's expression, it's healing, it's connection, you know, in different ways. Some people come here just because they want to have tips on video or, you know, they have their business and they want to see what's going on. Other people, they come because they want and they are going through something like this. But it's all connection. And I appreciate that. Whatever your reasoning for coming, I appreciate it. And if you're going through something and you need to find your strength, find it in whatever medium. I find my strength with this camera. That's why the camera and cameras are just so important to me because I was able to find my strength. I was able to heal from it. I was able to help other people heal with the camera. And just that alone, I mean, how can I stop at this point? You know, that's why everything is rest centered around the camera. It's not just okay, trying to have the newest and greatest shiny object, it's because what it has done for me is really priceless. How it has helped me, how it allowed me to help other people, it is priceless. And I'm grateful for it. I was able to connect with so many people via the camera where whether it's they saw some of the content, you saw some of the videos, or we just have a common interest in Sony cameras or just cameras in general, I was able to connect. I was able to express myself. You you guys knew what was going on. I was able to heal from this where I wasn't able to heal in any other areas. This was my medium. You know, this medium resonated with me. And I find that so powerful and I'm so grateful for it. And I hope someone out there who needs to see this, I hope it, the algorithm, it's, it's able to pop up on your feed. So, you know, look, you can find your strength. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. You know, I'm still finding my strength. I'm getting stronger every day. It, it's not a one and done thing. It's going to be a lifetime thing, but there is a way, there is a path. And Hey, you may need to share your story. I think you should share it because someone out there, may need to hear your story my story may not resonate with with that person but your story could and i think a gift through something severe that you're going through could be hey let me share this because someone needs to hear it i would have wanted to have heard it from somebody else that would have been amazing so i try to do that as well so find your strength I'm finding mine. I'm going to continue to find it. And we're going to keep this thing going. More videos are on the way. Let's get it.